Hi everybody. <clears throat> it is a new week and we're going to look at what sort of string is available to us. I'm at pattern-collections.com. Don't use an app. I always just go to the website directly. I just happen to use my phone. Um, going to run down here to uh, weekly string and see what the weekly string might look like. I'm almost afraid to look. Weekly string is interesting. Okay. So that's the weekly string. So I am going to draw it on a square for my reference. Make sure there's only one page there. Let's see. You guys can't see both of those at the same time. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw. Oop. Um, this one is going to come from this corner and kind of go like that and from this corner and go like that. And it could be bigger or smaller, but that's the general string. Uh, I didn't get that quite close enough, but that's okay. Gives me the remembrance of what string number 30 should look like. And then we're gonna just get a new, uh, new tile and put that little string in pencil. I'm going to go ahead and put a border one. When I have a string that looks like it's coming from the edge, um, I do tend to put um, a border. Not always, but I tend to. So one coming from this way and one coming from that way. That's my general string. I know it's kind of light. I don't want to draw it really dark because I want to be able to uh, make it disappear from my tile. So you guys can't always see it very well. That one's darker than sometimes I do. Um, but it's just a guideline, right? It's, you know, it's, an, it's not, it's, it's not set in stone. You don't have to use the exact where you put that pencil mark. So then I'm going to go back to the home page and I'm going to go to pattern focus and we will figure out what today's pattern is because I did not look at all again this week. Sometimes I do, but this time I did not. Uh, uh oh, maybe I should have. Oh, there it goes. It's just taking its own sweet time to pop up. Okay, so it's going to be a grid pattern called trellis. Wow, why is that so slow? I don't know why that's so slow. Okay. Find there. Okay, so step number one looks like um, part, you only draw part of the grid in pen and part of it in pencil, which is interesting. So make note that um, here's the, the square, right? And it looks like you draw these lines in pen but you draw these lines in pencil and then you're going to have this sort of a curvy shape um, kind of like what the one I did um, in my pattern uh, I don't remember which name I used the pattern I did off of um, the last, my last trip, my last cruise, kind of had a similar, I think I called it imagination, uh, similar sort of a shape, but I had it with a um, offset. So you're gonna do that step first, and then this step up here into the corner from about halfway on that curve up to the corner. And then uh, you can fill that in with a, a stripe. You can fill this part in with 
Oh, I missed a step. Step three is to fill in this corner solid. These little corners. Fill that in solid. Then you can put stripes in the other part and then you can put like a leaf type thing. That's the finished product there and there it is used without the leaf thing. Suppose at any point after, after this step you could um, shade or embellish as, as you see fit, right? So we'll see what happens to me and this string. Put that over there so I can see it. How was you guys' this weekend? Um, mine was busy as always. Um, I had one day off and then Sunday our store opened. So we are now open for business. Come on by. Say hi. Of course you don't know where it is, but come on by and say hi. Um, yeah, we're now open for business. I'm not sure. We have not had the grand opening yet. That won't be until um, this weekend. But um, we are actually have the doors open and we're taking customers. And we've been considering that we have not advertised that we're open. Other than just a little sign on the outside that says now open. We've been busy. We really have. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I normally would not just draw the string almost directly, but I think I'm going to do it like this, like a muka in both corners. And they'll be like sitting on top of this trellis, um, sort of thing that's going to happen behind it. All right. So then I want, I want my vertical lines go this way. Trying not to get too far out of the screen. But I know they're going to be wonky, and I think that's okay. I don't want them to be super precise. Okay, and now I need the pencil going the other way. So first, before I get too carried away, I'm going to erase the pencil that I have out there now so I don't get confused as to which pencil line I'm supposed to be following. I'm just going to erase that. You see, I didn't follow exactly where my string was because the string is just a guide. It is not a concrete path. It is just a suggestion of where to go. Okay, and so I want something that I'll be able to erase going this way. And I'm just going to go right through there because I'm going to erase it anyways. So. I don't have to draw behind right there. I just have to remember to draw behind when I'm doing the next step. Okay. Okay, so next step. I want to draw a shape that looks like kind of a, a backwards S type of a shape like that in every single one. You're not going to see some of that because of the overlap there. But that's the shape I want. Kind of a backwardish S shape. Shallow. Okay. You got that? Kind of come down and over. 
down and over, down and over, down and over, down and over. I did those wrong. They should have come this way and then down. I did an S and not a backwards S. Oh well. It is what it is. Down and over like that. Down. Down and over. 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 Since it's kind of wonky anyway, if my shape is a little wonky, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go down and come out there. It's down and over to there. Down and over there. Down and over there. So yeah, I only worked an eight hour shift yesterday and I'm only working an eight hour shift today. Feels almost odd. Okay, so what's the next step? Next step is to go ahead and leave that pencil grid and then in this section here, I wanna go from about midpoint up to the corner. Midpoint to the corner, midpoint to the corner, like that. And that one you really won't see much of right there. Okay, so then on the next row, I want okay, I want midpoint. Just checking. Where do I want to do this? I want to have this. I want it here. want midpoint to the corner on the next row down I want it opposite so you're not gonna see that you're gonna see that you'll see that okay and then on this one it'll be midpoint to the corner here and then on this one it's down here And then on this one, it's up here. Something like that. Not sure that that's quite right. I feel like this is too big. I did something not quite accurate there. Well, that's accurate. It's just wonky. Part of it has to do with this being the wrong shape. Whatever. Uh, 
Yeah, you just don't see it. I, I did something a little off. And you just don't see the whole pattern properly. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. Okay, so I want to fill in. And I'm going to use my bigger pen. And I want to fill in this triangle all the way across. And maybe if I get them filled in, I will see the pattern better. I feel like I can't see it yet. Maybe it's one of those ones that has to grow on you, you know? Step one there. Actually, this is part of step three. Coloring in these triangles is step three. try this one another another day try it again because I have this swoops going the wrong direction that swoop needed to come this way go that way so it looks funny hello little neighbor dog This one. feel like I did a lot of walking today, but I just checked my, my steps and I really didn't. I must have just done a lot of standing. I did have to stand at the cash register a lot. After we get into a, a routine, I was kind of hoping that The shift I'm on would be have more things to do out on the floor and less at the cash register but you know if I'm on the register I'm on the register that's fine it just seems to be so much harder 
to be on register. I saw a lot of my customers from my other store um, were only like two and a half miles from the store I, I left from. So we had a lot of the same customers come over to that new store. Now I don't know if that's going to affect the sales at the other store or if these customers are the customers that um, would shop in multiple locations anyway. We have um, those people who do coupon shopping and they go to every store in the you know in the area every day i don't know what the heck they're doing with all this stuff other than they've got to be reselling it it's the only thing i can think of because there is nobody in the world that needs every single week eight or ten bottles of shampoo every week and then they go from store to store and get that same amount of shampoo in all the other stores too. So they're probably getting 30, 40 bottles of shampoo a week. There's no way. They have to be selling it somewhere. But, um, you know, I guess it's none of my business. As long as they're buying it and they're paying retail, you know, or getting their coupons. Um, as long as coupons exist in the form that they do, uh, there will always be those coupon shoppers that that take advantage. But that's okay, the store gets paid. And I get paid the same whether one we had a last night I had a couponer that thanked me for being so patient and kind with her. And I told her, I said, well, it doesn't matter to me because I get paid the same whether you use one coupon or 10 coupons, I get paid the same. I really don't care. The, the only times it frustrates me is when the coupons don't work or they're trying to use a coupon that doesn't apply to their item, that frustrates me. But just a, a normal person who knows how to use their coupons does not bother me. Use the system, don't abuse the system is what I say. All right, so I'm not sure I wanna put those stripes or the leaf thing. I'm just gonna shade it. I'm gonna leave it just at this point. You can continue uh, with this pattern and um, put in stripes in these spots here. And you can put a uh, leaf kind of, oh, pardon me, leaf kind of shape in there. But I, I really feel led to not do that and to just start shading. And so that's what I'm gonna do. It's okay, you have permission to um, play with the pattern. Um, one of the things that we're doing, and I encourage you to go to, go to um, pattern-collections.com and, and look up the, the information about go-to patterns and pattern play. We're just having the best time playing with different patterns and taking a pattern and, and, and just saying what if what if i what if i take this pattern and instead of making straight lines i make curved lines what if i i add uh an this embellishment or that embellishment what if we're doing a lot of what if and it's so much fun and so for me what if i just don't finish all the steps on this tangle what if and that's where i'm at i'm going to just not do that i'm going to sign it down here and I'm going to put the name T 
T-R-E-L-L-Y-S on string number 30. thought it was interesting that there was somebody else who um, I don't remember if it was on my personal Facebook my draw tangles with Dawn Facebook page or if the comment was on one of the YouTube videos but they said that they were encouraged by my drawings to do their own daily pattern challenge on a string but they didn't want to be influenced by my drawings, you know, either consciously or subconsciously, um, and ha end up with their drawing looking like my drawing. And so they're using um, a different string. They're not using this week's string. They went back to string number uh, one. And so um, they're going to use this trellis pattern on maybe string number four, or whatever, wherever they're at at this point. And so um, they're their tile is going to look totally different than mine, but they've been inspired by the way I've been playing with patterns. And I really appreciated um, knowing that that uh, is going on out there, you know? I also had somebody else reach out to me and say that, that, that they appreciate um, my ending Thing about uh, being nice and kind to uh, other people and, and making the world a better place and that they're trying it and that they actually do feel better um, makes them happy and I think that's totally awesome and I appreciate that as well um, you know don't think the goal of my existence is to draw patterns. I think the goal of my existence is to make people happy and make the world a better place. And if drawing does that, well then so much the better. But that's not drawing, that's not the reason I draw. I don't draw um, I mean, I draw to make myself happy. And if it happens to make other people happy, that's great. But when I started this channel, um, you know, I started just chatting. And I just really, some there are some days I just feel drawn to just chat away. And, um, and I've had people go blah, 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 blah. I had a, a, a somebody comment on one of my videos. Blah, 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 blah. Stop with the blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm not going to stop with the blah, blah, blah. I am going to be me. I'm going to continue to speak my truth. And if you don't want to listen to my truth, that's fine. You don't have to. You can either turn the sound off and just watch me draw. Or you could just not watch me at all. It's, you know, I, I really don't care. I would continue to do this if the only person watching my videos was me. So I'm not worried about other people and what they think about me. But if I do bless your day and you choose to share that with me, I will be encouraged. And so I want to thank you for that, for sharing those things with me. I am going to shade right here and right here. And because I see this as a folded ribbon. I saw that like this immediately, even though I didn't draw it quite right, I still see this as a like a folded ribbon and that part is behind. Like that. You see it? I totally saw it. First first off, I saw it. And then I think I'm going to do just a little bit on this edge. Like that. Very gently. Very, very gently. 
Not sure that was even enough. Might be needing more. Like that. Okay, let's try that. That's good. Okay. So yeah, if 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 you don't like my yammering, fast forward. Don't listen. Turn off the sound. Um, Cause I am not gonna let internet trolls tell me how to be different. You know, if I was if I was being mean or nasty, it might be one thing. But I'm not. I'm just telling you to go out there and make the world a better place by being nice to each other. How hard is that? Well, no, I take it back. That's very hard. It can be extraordinarily difficult. But I can't imagine how that would be something that would offend someone. Now, I, I can see how you, you might not want to hear about my faith, but my faith is part of me. And um, like I said, if you don't want to hear it, change your channel. Easy enough. Yeah, there's lots of, uh, lots of different media outlets out there and social media and YouTube is, is, is one of them. And, you know, I just don't understand. I, I, I follow certain, um, groups or certain people on social media. And then there's always those people who say, you know, you're so fat, you're so ugly. Why don't you say this or say that and, and, and do things differently. And I'm thinking, you know, if you don't like that celebrity or that person, um, then why are you on their page? You know, if, if you don't like what they're saying, why are you following them? And, you know, I just don't understand the trolls of this world, I guess. My husband didn't understand that term troll when I first said it. Uh, oh, goodness, I've got a troll. And he, what are you talking about? And I told him the what the person said on my social media. And he goes, well, that wasn't very nice. And I said, well, well, they're just being a troll. It says more about them than it does about me, you know, that their life is so sad and miserable that they have to reach out. And instead of reaching out and making somebody else's life better and blessing them, they have to reach out to try to make somebody else's life miserable. Well, I'm just going to choose not to listen to that, you know? Um, I cannot control whether or not somebody wants to um, try to make my life miserable. I just can't control that. What I can control is the way I react to it. And I'm just, just I'm going to choose not to um, engage, you know? That's what the block button is for. You know, I don't feel sad in the least to... Uh, delete comments and block people who are being mean and nasty. I just don't feel that sad. Um, there's many other things to be sad about in the world. That's not one of them. Yeah, I might put those stripes in in here. I still might do it, but I like it shaded like that.
All right, now I've got myself rows and rows of twisty ribbons and two semicolons or colons or commas or mukas. I am going to shade just like that and just like this, just to give that a little bit of roundness. There we go. What do you think? I like it. I do, I like it a lot. There we go. There's trellis, 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 however you say it. And uh, yeah. That's not so bad, and I got it done. I'm gonna do a few more for today because you know I have to draw at least three or four of them all in one sitting. So this was the first one for today. Uh, I'll get it up as soon as I can. Um, you know, you guys go out and have a great day. Be kind to one another. Don't be a troll. You know, simple life lessons. Today's life lesson, don't be a troll. Easy. You can do that, right? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.